Hello again guys, uh, today I'm going to do a Reaper tutorial on how to install and run my VST instruments. Alright, so let's get started shall we? I've already gone on to my website and downloaded the instruments again. I've deleted them from my VST folder that I always had them in. So we can start again from scratch. So if you can see here, they're very small, but we've got the, um, the zip files here. Now I've downloaded the way, I'm only gonna install the 64 bit versions of these again because I don't use the 32 bit anymore. So it's the exact same thing with the 32 bit. You just put the 32 bit program into your 32-bit VST plugins folder. It all will become clear. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate, this is how I do it, you can do it your own way, you can unzip them and then tell it where you want them unzipped. I'm going to navigate to my VST, I keep my VST plugins on a D drive, I don't keep them on my C drive basically because I don't want to fill it up, it's only a small SSD drive. Um, so I've got, as you can see here, I've got my 32-bit VST plugins folder and I've got my 64-bit, okay? So I'm going to open up my 64-bit plugins folder and up at the top here I've got uh, a folder there specifically for my VST instruments, my own VST instruments. So I'm going to open that up and as you can see, it's empty. So what we'll do, I'll just move this up a little bit, move it out of the way a second. You just grab a hold of these and I'm going to do a cut I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste them into here. So now I've got both of them here. Okay. Section strings. I'm going to extract. Now I can't remember. Did I keep them in folders in there? It's been so long. No. So what I'm going to do. Uh, section strings. I'm going to extract it. But I'm going to extract it to its folder. Okay. And then I can delete the zip file. Okay, so now I've got six and strings. I did put it in a folder. Okay. Now, as you can see with section strings, it isn't a, you don't download the 64 or the the 32 bit um, program. I just put them all in one folder. So what I'm going to do, the times 86 is the 32 bit version. Okay, so I'm going to delete them because we just don't need them. And delete. Now the important thing with this to get for this to work. This here has got the samples in it because this is a sampled instrument. Okay, so this .mse file has got to be with the section strings 64.dll. Okay, they've got to be together, otherwise it just won't work. So if we go back now, the Way Piano is only there's two versions you can download. I, I split them up, um, but then people ask me just if they could download the whole thing in one hit. So that's why I did it. the section strings came after. So the way piano, I just downloaded the 64-bit version. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just check it's all in there. And I'm going to extract it here this time. Because I think it's in a folder already. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to delete the zip file because we don't need it anymore. And then if we, again, if we go into the way piano, you can see again we've got this .mse file. Very important this. These have got to be together in the same folder. Okay? The way piano instruments and the way piano. Now because we've got a doubling down of folders here, I'm just gonna take this and cut. Let's come up here and paste it up here. So now I've just got that. Okay. So this is simple as that. So now we've got section strings version one in there with its instruments, the .mse file and the .dll file times 64. If you want the 32-bit that you put them in your the same thing again, but you like my 32-bit plugins folder here, as you can see, I would have put them in there somewhere. Okay, but we're not doing that. We're working in my 64-bit. Okay. So they're in there. They're installed. That's it. That's all you need to do. Okay. Um, so we can close that now. Now if we come over to Reaper, I'm going to go up to Track. This is the very simplest way of doing this. Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. But, what I'm going to do, 
it'll go quiet for a minute. I'm going to shut Reaper down and start it up again because you you need to uh, Reaper needs to scan the folder again to see that those new instruments are there. So I'm just going to shut it down and then I'll open it and we'll be back in a second. Okay, and we're back. So this here I would get rid of, I don't need that. Right, so we're back again. So, I'm going to go up and go track, instra insert virtual instrument on new track. We'll click on that. Up will come your VST instruments. Okay, so if I have a look through here, we've got section strings is down here. Way piano, if it goes in order, will be up here. Okay, so if we double click section strings, it opens up and lo and behold it's already set up to record and it's um, monitoring. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell it to go MIDI, no sorry, I need to output it so that you can hear it. Sorry I'm recording on a, on a different version of Reaper down here so I'm going to send a hardware output uh, stereo. So I'm going to go to 3 and 4. Okay, and then if we play this, there you have it. There's the strings. Okay, it's got a little virtual keyboard itself there, but I've got my keyboard behind me. So chords. You got your attack, release, decay, sustain, etc. All the, there's even a verb in, built in. LFO rate, LFO depth, there's a pan. And if you can change the velocity velocity curves in there, okay? So that's section strings in and working. Then if we do the same thing again, if we go to track, insert virtual instrument new track, let's go to way piano, double click, in it comes. So once again, I'm going to send this as a hardware output because I need to send it to the other version of Reaper that I'm recording audio on for you guys to number three and four. This, that isn't a necessary step for you. It's only because I don't record my audio for the video in the, the, this version of Reaper up at the top here. I, I've got another version on my screen below me that records the audio. So I've got my microphone, which is, as you can see, the, the, the version of Reaper below me has got rear route as its ACO driver. So I'm sending to rear route one for my mic. That's all. So you don't have to do that under normal circumstances. This is just for me for the video. So here we have way piano is working. I've got the keyboard. Down here, so okay. Same thing. You've got an ADSR. There's an inbuilt reverb, and volume and pan, um, and that's you. It's as simple as that. Okay. Now these instruments. I'm not moaning, I don't I don't mind questions and I understand that newcomers find it may find it difficult, hence why I'm doing this video. But they are supplied free of charge. If you want to donate some money, you're more than welcome to do that. I'll put all my links to PayPal and um, uh, Patreon and all that in the description. But they are free of charge for you guys to use. But it means there isn't support that comes with them, you know, it's, they're, they're just free instruments for you guys to use because I made them for myself just because they're quick and dirty to get them into my sessions quickly to get some sounds going and then I'll go back and get some more complicated libraries if I want some better sounds. They, they sound okay but I mean, you know, they're, they're just meant for quick, nice sounding instruments to get you started without having to faff about with contact. I know my other string instrument that I've got on my website is a contact instrument but these two are mainly you know just down and dirty quick piano and strings to get you going and also there is a little mono synth but I didn't do that in here it's only a 32 bit version which works fine in Reaper 64 bit because you've got the, the really good bridge um, plug-in bridging so yeah so that's it guys I mean it's as simple as that and I hope to all of you that have been asking questions about installing these, this helps you. The mono synth, that's just purely a DLL file. There's no samples in there. It's actually a synth, so you, it's just a DLL file into your plugins folder, as I've done. And then Reaper will detect whether they're instruments or plugins. Okay. I hope this helps. 
Um, and I'll see you in the next one, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye now.